All right, let's talk a little bit about this new model for 2023. This boot is the Mesa. Um, so Mark, tell me a little bit about the Mesa and where it, it came from and uh, why we're introducing that in this boot in 2023. Yeah, it's a good question. So this actually is, it is a new boot, Yeah, but it, it's been in our lineup. Um, right. It was formerly known as the Crossover. That's really what it has has been known as is the crossover, and we've had that in our lineup for almost six years, seven mm -hmm. years. It is a staple. It is a great fitting boot. Guys that wear this boot, they absolutely love it. Right. It actually falls in the Brickstall family, okay. so to speak, on the on the lower end. Um, the fit, mm -hmm. um, the cut, the last. Um, all fit on that same Brickstall family with asymmetrical lacing. So as I mentioned, this was formerly the crossover. Um, we basically have just given it a complete facelift okay. on that side of it. So what, one of the things, here's a couple of things that we've changed on it. So we've, we've changed the outsole on it. So this is just a, it's a Vibram outsole. It's, um, it's a lighter weight. It has, um, the lug pattern is a little bit different, but about the same height okay. as far as that goes. Um, we were running a, an EVA midsole in it, mm -hmm. which before we ran a, a traditional EVA midsole as well. Um, but we just gave it a little bit more, just a little bit more character, a little bit more facelift okay. on that side of it. Um, we actually put a PU tech window in that. And, and basically it. is because this is non-insulated. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we realized that when we looked across the board at our customer base, at the demographic who was wearing this, they were wearing it almost as an everyday type of, of footwear. They were wearing it early season, scouting, checking cameras, hiking, uh, putting on a lot of miles. It's a lighter weight boot. And it, um, and so we wanted to get some more breathability into it. So we Got put it. this window in it. Um, it. We still maintained a suede leather on it. Mm -hmm. And then we have the cross crossover tongue. That's actually how it actually got its original name was the crossover. So as far as that goes, the boot itself um, has not changed with fit and feel from our previous model, the crossover. Okay. But for this year, this is, we've basically just given it a facelift. We've gone to two colorways. We've gone to a brown and a kind of a charcoal type of gray on there. So uh, we're excited about this boot. Um, guys that have looked at it and have seen it, they, they love the new design. So. Yeah. Now, you said we haven't changed much. So this still has the, the Gore-Tex booty in it, right? It does. Yes. Okay, great. Great. And the application for this boot, Lars, where, where, do, you, where do you see this boot going? Um, and when guys call into the office... And they're they're asking about boots. When do you direct them to this boot? As far as like, who does it fit? Mm -hmm. um, how does it feel? What are the good applications? Yeah. So another thing that we did this year was we added that full rubber rand. So it is going to be able to go and do more like mountainous stuff. So we you can be wearing this boot going to chase sheds in completely flat land, or you could also be like if you're a really minimalist and you're looking for something that's going to be you have really strong ankles, and um, you want a lightweight, breathable boot to go hunting in. People are still going to be able to use this going chasing deer, chasing elk, but it's really geared towards like more like light hiking. So, um, if you're more on trails, like going up in the Uintas, um, any like favorable trail hikes, that's that's really what this boot's geared towards. Yeah, it was really interesting. One of the the gentlemen that shoots photos for us. Um, he went out and, and he took these right out of the box and took them on an elk hunt. And uh, that kind of took us all a little bit by surprise because mm -hmm. we didn't anticipate this boot being up in the high country uh, chasing elk. But sure enough, and I asked him specifically about that, and, and he said that it performed, you know, he likes the lighter, you know, the lighter weight. Yep. And it has good ankles, and he said it was, it was awesome. Yeah, we see a little bit of a change in the market for some people that are wearing like a trail runner type shoe. And this kind of fits right into that market. Um, if you're used to running like running trails and you want something like in that same fit and feel, this is going to be right up your alley for sure. Yeah, cool. it's, I'm amazed at the number of guys that actually wear this in, in September mm -hmm. on archery elk hunts. Yeah. And, you know, our partner Kendall, yep. you know, um, you know he, he wore it a couple years ago. Uh, I think even wore it last year on an elk hunt, yeah. <laughs> uh, and and like Lars mentioned, it, it, I'm amazed when I 
when I see guys because normally guys are like, hey, I need a boot. I yeah. need a boot. Yeah. And this is, it will perform like a boot, but being lower cut, mm-hmm. it will give you um, the stability that you need, especially in the in the foot. Not necessarily as much in the ankle support, mm-hmm. but guys that spend a lot of times in the mountains or guys that spend a lot of times and have strong ankles and things like this, they'll be perfectly fine wearing this boot carrying a load. Now, you, you mentioned something um, that maybe we could talk to the to a little bit. What is the flex rating on this boot? It's a, a two and a half? It's We've rated two? it at a two, but it's going to feel more like a two and a half. Yeah. Just because the upper construction of that boot, um, the full rubber rand, gives it a little bit more rigidity. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah that's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, not only is it going to be a good looking boot that you can wear into the office to work, but if you have your bow in the back like many of us do, you can just uh, head out from the office and head up for an early uh, evening hunt right out of the drop off your uh, slacks and, and, <laughs> and go. So if you're looking for a great uh, mid early season, light, lighter weight, uh, low volume boot, this new Mesa is going to be your ticket in 2023.